Good morning. Good morning. Well, I guess you're here for the job too, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I applied here four months ago. It's hard to get in here. When did you apply? Last week. Oh. Excuse me. What's up? Hey, bro, you got a pen? Yeah. Appreciate it. Boy, tell you what, man. It's hard getting a job out here in the city, man. I know what you mean. You know, I've been sitting up here filming these applications. And then I also heard, man, this place drug testing. They do? What? Heck yeah, they ain't drug testing. Shit, hey, look up you. I got some piss on deck for you. $40, though. I'm not buying your piss. Shh. It's my girl's piss, man. Oh, my God. It's from my home. Mr. Antonio Steele? Here I am. Hey man, what's your name again? Chris. Oh, what's up? Man, how many you said the P was? Thirty dollars, man. I, mean, I don't got forty. I got twenty. You wanna take this? Hey, you better be glad I gotta catch the lift. But I got you this time, bro. All right. I'll be right back. Oh. came out of that office was either fired or clean the window. I'll have you know that it's neither. Oh, let me guess. They gave you a warning this time. I guess they told you to stop getting those Popeye's chicken salads. <laughs> Serve you right. You are not going to knock me off kilter with those low-grade jokes. And you got about two cases. Uh, Gregory Westfield, oh yeah, I think I mentioned before. Stay in your lane. Be a professional. Don't approach me on things that you don't know about. Work on your cases and get off mine. <laughs> this bitch is on to something. Clinton, how much longer are you gonna be? You said we're gonna finish unpacking the boxes today. Babe, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. I'm swamped. I'm gonna try to get home as fast as I can. Clinton, you're always at work. Ever since you took this new position, I feel like we don't do anything anymore. We don't spend time together. You're never at home late at night for dinner. And you got me in this town with no black people. I feel like I'm alone. Babe, don't feel like that, please. We gotta make light of this situation. We knew this would come with difficulties, being away from home, not seeing our families. But we both know I wanted this position more than anything in the world, and it would come with a lot of work. I'm literally one of three sheriffs in this whole city. Well, Clinton, I don't like it here. And this would be so much easier if I had my husband with me. Babe, don't, don't act like that, please. At least one or two nights, something. Daddy was home to tuck you in. Uh -huh. Yes, Daddy. I do want you to tuck me in. Right after you bust all in me. Mm hmm. Give me those kids. Beat it up. Oh. I need to get my ass home soon then. Well, I know one thing. You better be here tomorrow. What's tomorrow? It's our two year wedding anniversary. Let me guess, you forgot again. I didn't forget, I didn't, I didn't forget. I, babe, I swear I didn't forget. I, I can't wait. 
Well, you just better make sure your ass is home by 6.30 tomorrow, because dinner will be ready. I don't want to be cooking for nothing. I'll be there. I'll be there, I promise. Don't do me like that, I'll be there. I love you, Isaiah Scott. I love you too, Clinton. Go ahead, go ahead, finish your work. I'll just finish unpacking these boxes. Poor Jefferson, I heard you were military. Yes. What branch? I was in the Air Force. Oh, I have family um, in the Air Force. Okay, oh, really? okay. Cool. Cool. I must, I don't normally do this. I don't normally do this, but you got the job. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. But you know, uh, as policy, we do have to do, you know, drug testing. So good yes. luck, okay? Uh, thank you. And you're welcome. Yes. See you soon. Oh, my key. Michael. Michael. Michael, can you just wait a minute? Where's my key? Michael. Michael, we just wait a minute. Can I help you? I figured it out. They gave me the parking spot closest to the door. Parking spot. But what the? You talk to me. Email. Email me. I just. Want, I've been here for eight years, and I feel disrespected. Michael, I'm are we really still doing this? Michael, just give me a second. Are we really still doing this? Yes. You are really aggravating. Look, what happened in there is. I got the commercial. The commercial I pitched? If you pitched it, so be it. I got it. You know how many hours I put into that? I'm doing the promo. I'm doing it all. It's all done. It's mine now. I'm so sorry, Gregory. I really am. I don't know what you want me to say to you. But I got something I'm going to say to you. Toots. Bye-bye. I'm just going to file an EEO complaint. Got it! I got it. Still. Well, lucky for you, I had to pee. I hear you on that. <laughs> you good, Chris? <laughs> All right. Mr. Poy, Je Mr. Jefferson, you doing uh, okay? Yeah. You, I'll, you sure? Yeah, I'll be out in a minute. Okay. All right. Take your time. So I had enough for it. It's, it's all right, thank you. Right. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. To the adults to teach the children. Luca Bella lemonade for nine 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 nine. The lemonade that leaves the n saying. The lemonade that can't be topped and leaves your tongue. Licking the bottom, Luca Bella Pussy Puffs for free, 99. Okay. You get your heart's desires. I want to show you all that I can do. So for you right now, we are going to take a caller. Do we have a caller on the line? Please put the caller on. Caller, are you there? Yes. Oh my God. I'm kind of in the box. Hello everyone, welcome back to Speak Out. I am your host, Antonio Driver, and we are here with the CEO of Day Records. Oh, Dante's on TV. Dante, it has been 25 years of the success of your iconic record label. How do you feel? I feel really grateful that after 25 years, Day Records is still a conversation. It's a blessing. Dante, correct me if I'm wrong. You took over the label as the CEO four years ago after your sister stepped down. Can you give us a little insight on how that transition period looked and how it even ended up with you? I know that this company has had multiple CEOs. Can you give the viewers a little bit of insight? Well, my father died in 2010, and that's when my uncle took over the record label. My sister, Erica Day, she fought really hard to get the record label back to us. Two years after she took over, she gave the record label to me. 
it always seems to be the family issues that get in the way. But I am glad that the company is back with its true successor and not the uncle. But Dante, I have to ask, and it is public record, that the company has had some financial issues since you have taken over. Myself and the viewers of Speak Out would love to know more. Would you be open to talking about those losses with us? Everyone has money issues. Any record label who says they haven't had money issues are lying. So Day Records is no different. Yes, you know, we took some hits, but we made some gains. Um, that's why we're still here after 25 years, you know. So the music industry is changing. We, we came from a time where people stood in line to get CDs. They actually did that back in the day. Now people can just get on their phones and voila, you're listening to music. So we're, we're transitioning. You know, I, I came in four years ago and four years is not going to change, you know, the foundation. I need more time. So right now we're, we're just, we're in a discovery phase. So it is what it is. Well, you're absolutely correct. The music industry is changing. Artists are changing. And speaking of changes, one of your artists who will rename nameless on Speak Out took to the press today to come and say that they would not be returning to your label or renewing their contract. Dante, it's April, and this is the fifth artist that has said that. We are on Speak Out, and we are on your side, but we need the truth about what is really going on. Yeah, they all left this year because we all signed them at the same time. That's why they're all leaving at the same time. So don't try me. <laughs> I see what you did. And that was cute. But no, um, we signed, we did a mass signature of artists. So we went on the streets. We went in the streets. We went to D.C., went to Baltimore, and we found kids who had a passion for music. And we said, hey, we're going to sign five artists. And look, they, they came over. They were successful. We did our thing with those artists. And... They want to venture out. It's like a nest, you know? You, 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 you're you a bird who wants to leave the nest. I'm happy for you. Wherever you go, I will scream your music and buy it. I'm rooting for all of y'all. So good luck. I guess to say, to say we all will be, oh, excuse me. This better be good. He did what? He's, he did this. No, Steve, no. I better get another freaking promotion for this. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Camera guy, please. America, this is just in exclusively from Speak Out, and you have heard it here first. Doug the Savage, who is also an artist on Day Records, has just called in and spoke to my producers and said, and I quote, I too am owed two million dollars in royalties, and that motherfucker Dante Day and Day Records count your motherfucking days. I hope that we don't lose sponsorships. Please bleep that out. I don't owe Doug shit. See, if I was home. I can be there to support my friend. But I'm in the middle of West Bubba Fuck somewhere. Dante, I know this seems like an ambush and it is not what it is intended to. Do you care to explain what is going on to the viewers and myself? You know, I came, you know, there were, there, I, I feel like you guys are trying me right now. And um, so we're just going to end this interview, okay? Because we're not about to give these people views right now. So get me out of here. Unmic me. Thank you, camera. Turn it off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is going on? What is going on? What's up, new money? Saran, what's the bottle for? Celebrate that new job. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm so happy for you. Don't make a big deal of it. I'm just happy for you. You want me to pop that now or you want it later? I mean, we can pop it later. I've been just closed all day. I just want to freshen up and just you know, relax a little bit. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. All right. Don't take too long. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>
Go, you got some waters. No, I ran out. Okay. Just use the faucet. Let's do it. Sorry it took me so long. You ready? I was ready when I got here. Where did you get a water from? <laughs> this is my last one. Oh, okay. Thank you for calling us tech. This is Chance speaking. How can I help you? Uh-huh. Okay. Let me take a look into your account and see what's going on. And that's Lumpkins? Okay. Linda Lumpkins. Okay. All right. So I'm looking into your account. Uh, yep. Your service was terminated today for past due payment. Don't worry about it. It happens to all of us. Mine is off too today, and I'm at a friend's house. Don't tell nobody though. Yeah, it says that you owe three eighty five. All right. Let me see what I can do. See if there's anything that I can do here to help you out. I'm gonna appreciate you on a brief hold, okay? Bitch, duh. If you don't pay your bill, what do you expect gonna happen? It's gonna keep going. Oh, Miss Lumpkins, you heard me. Oh no, I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you. You want to speak to a manager? Okay, he'll be right with you. I'm gonna place you in his queue. Okay. Speak to a manager, <laughs> bitch, please. I am about to clock out, have some lunch, and I got a little bit of a date. <laughs> Child, I know you still not here using my watch. Well, hey, Greg, how are you? I'm good. I'll be even better if you stop mooching off my shit. You know they cut my Wi-Fi off today anyway. I told you that this morning. They talking about they want me to pay some $200. Like, what happened to the boy discount? What type of shit is this? I'm at home working all hours of the night for them. They can't even put my Wi-Fi on. Child. I don't give a damn if they cut your shit off. I know you better pay it so you're not in my shit tomorrow. Well, I ain't paying shit. What happened to you, Casa, me, Casa? Your juice, my juice. Your shit, my shit. Yo chips. My chips. Now enough about this. What's going on with work? Did you get that commercial? Hell no. They gave it to somebody else. And the fucked up thing about it is, I'm the one that pitched the idea. It's all right, Greg. You know they always give it to the white people. The what? The white people. The white people. That's what I'm trying to say. You know I'm mic'd up. I'm trying to be discreet. Hey, guys. You know I love y'all. And they didn't even give it to a white person. They gave it to a black guy. Got you fucked up. I don't get it. I gave them everything and they still gave it to Michael. Fuck this job. The fuck are you going to do? I'm going to start my own practice. Oh shit. Another black man going to quit his job because he's not getting his way? You know what your problem is? You give up too easy. Look at that. You see that? Look. 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 Come on. Look. I see your ashy hands. Bitch, please. I just use your manicure set. How they look? <laughs> anyway, come on. Come on. Stay focused. Stay focused. What you see right there? What you see? That Michael got the commercial over me. Okay, what else you see? What else you see? That I deserved it. What else? Come on, dig deeper. That I should shoot my own commercial? What else? What else? And then submit it first, and then they'll see that mine is better than his, and then they'll give the commercial to me? Yes, that's it. You see that over there? Top, top corner. Look at that. That's my little corner right there. I can see it right now. Us tech. Manager position, a sick day. Damn, I'll probably get a new laptop. Mm, life is going to be good. Mm -mm -mm. That vision right there, you see that? Come on, look. You see it? You see it. I know you see it. Look at that shit. You know what else I you see? You see me right there doing it. I'm pulling you in the Look. Your Wi Fi getting cut back on. <gasps> see you later. Oh. No, you get. Can you get some juice? Goodness gracious. I did it good this time. Well, I'm not the best cut, but look, that's what I have to do tonight. I think this, this cut is, oh yeah, that's perfect. 
It's given day night. You go like that. Oh! Did you just send me the voicemail? Oh my, you know what? I'm gonna be over this song. I'm gonna be over it. I'm gonna be over it. I tried to do something different that I don't do to get out of my element. This doctor shit. It's always a doctor. Child. Mm. So, what's going on here? We're supposed to be getting dinner. What are we doing at the grocery store? Honestly, I don't feel comfortable taking the doctor to eat, man. You don't have any food at home. I understand that, but you put $500 on my kitchen counter, and now you're taking me out grocery shopping? That's too much. Like, I gotta give your money back. So, it's just all the money. I mean, I understand it can be a lot, but you gotta understand from my point of view. Anybody I'm feeling the way I'm feeling you, I don't wanna see them struggling. You can keep that money. Use it to pay your bills. You can pay me back when you settle down with a new job. I don't even know if I got the job, but besides that, this is too much money. You will get the job, and I don't stress them. You can take as much time as you need. Okay, but why are you being so nice to me? Me and because I like you, and I believe in you, okay? Now can we get some groceries, please? All right, fuck it. Let's get these groceries so we can go home. All right, man. First off is some water. Mm -hmm. That was real cute, real cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it was dark in here. It's cool. So glad this day is over. Man, what? I had this old lady who got on my nerves today. It's always those old ones who think they know more than us. Like, we didn't go to medical school for five years. Like, we don't know what we're doing. Man, preach, brother, preach. I'm telling you, these 12, 14 hour days, long hours, unexpected surgeries, I'm getting tired of this, man. Actually, what time does this start towing? Shit, you got about five minutes before they start towing you. Um, Hurry up. All right, I'll be right back. All right, cool. Let me smell good. Bake cook? Okay. Mmm, I love salmon. Mmm. Okay. Must have already ate. Where's my email? Hmm. Hey, oh! Hey, hey. <laughs> she got out of that road. You know what I'm Why are we in the next clock? Okay. I'm gonna pick a good one. Okay. If your life was a song, what would be the song title? Can I pick a song? No, like, like make gonna... up a song that goes oh, yeah. with your yeah. album. If my life was a song, it would probably be called Back In It and then Why? Because I don't give up. Hmm. If I okay. see something I want, I go for it. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm. All right. What concerns you about the next generation? Um, just Generation Z, right? <laughs> I think that so. I think that. Well, why? Wait, which one's why? There is no why. There is a generation why. After millennials, millennials, it's Z, right? Sure. Okay, whatever they call. The next um, one. What concerns me about them? Yeah. Hmm. I think that what what concerns me the most about them is that they grew up in the the age of like social media. Okay. And. Pretty much, I feel like kids are evil, and they grew up in that time when people, you know, just post anything, and that's all they know about is posting shit and being online, being on the internet. They don't know what it's like to be outside, have fun, you no, know, play you sports. I definitely feel you in that. I definitely feel you in that. Oh, shit. So we went shopping. We still got 
Chinese food. <laughs> it was never given cooking the night. I don't know. This is good though. I'm glad we did this. It is. It's really good. It's really good. Let me tell you what though. It's getting a little late. My rep just had to take it to go, okay? Yep. So why you can stay at night. <laughs> I told you I'm not having sex till I'm in a committed relationship. I didn't mention anything about sex. I hear you, but honestly, I take sex seriously. And I'm just not ready for that step with you right now. I don't want to mess anything up with what we got. I can respect that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, thank you for today. Hey, no doubt, man. I'll call you um, tomorrow. All right, let me know you get home. All right, I will. Shit, I'm going to flood you just like that. You want to flood me? You want to flood me? You want to flood me? That's mm. like a hole in my room. Mm. Second home. Second home, baby. Mm. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, right. hell I no. Mean, y'all ain't got to stop. I can join oh, if you want now. to. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, you never told Maybe. me you were inviting somebody else. Michael, I didn't know you were here. That's why I invited Devin over. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's your excuse? <laughs> I can't believe you. I spent two hours, two hours on YouTube. Slaving in this kitchen for you. Oh my God. Do we really have to talk about this right now? Like, I just worked a 12 hour shift. I don't have time for this. Oh, so you don't got time for this? Just like you didn't have time to answer my phone call, huh? You know what? Don't play that cool, calm, collective, stoic physician shit with me. Inviting people here and I don't even know them. Are you kidding? Get your fucking hands off my plate. You want a challenge? You want a challenge? You get, get it off! Get it off! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Okay. Alright. You want a doggy bag? <laughs> the plastic bag is nothing the same, bro. I don't know what you said to him, but. Don't worry about what we said. You gotta go. I gotta you go. Gotta go. You, you can leave me out. Go. I'm sorry, man. I'll holler at you later. Bro, I thought we had the thing. I'll holler at you later, man. I'll holler at you later. Take keys. it to go. I'll no. send me your keys. That, that, his ass never leave. <laughs> Remember this, man. Make sure the door lock. Make sure the door lock. Fuck that, dude. Good morning. Thank you so much for showing Going. off your Wednesday with us here on Love Sunrise. It. We are waking up this Shit, morning on a quiet note. Yes. Moving in this oh, yes. Yes. Dude, we got a new stool. Oh, this is cute. Coy, where you at? Your door unlocked. Do you knock? The fuck? Well, maybe if you lock the door, <laughs> Capital oh, Security. Oof. This is the hood. Ain't nobody worry about the hood. I am the hood. And where is the soap for that sponge? I was driving around on the south side. Stop by the hood. How did the interview go? It was fine until they made me do a drug test. You told me this place did not do drug tests. They did anyway. You're trying to set me up. See what the fuck you're trying to do. You better watch that sponge. I'm trying to help you. Ain't nobody trying to set you up. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to fix it. I can't believe they made you pee in a cup. I'm going to call Philip. You should be doing drugs anyway. It's fine. I don't need you to do anything else. Ah, uh, no, no. I set this interview up. I'll fix this mess. Better than your sponge job. I don't need you to fix anything. I can find my own damn job. Well, you haven't had a job in the last past three years and you're still scrubbing the stove, Cinderella. Come to think of it, after the Air Force, man, you were fucked up. Are you afflicted with that PTSD? Uh, PBS, PS3. Uh, don't come on mental health. That shit ain't cool. I'm just, look, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help you. I can get on a phone call right now and I can help set up an appointment. I don't, I don't you, need your I help. Said, I don't need your help. I don't need anything else from you. Like, you've done enough. So you don't need my help. You don't need my help. You don't need my help. No, I don't. You still think you know everything. You got your little degree and your fancy ass car and you wanna come and parade around throwing shit in my face. I'm done with that shit. I don't need it. You know what? Why don't you get the fuck out and mind your business, okay? Let's <laughs> <Just> do that. <laughs> so you kicking me out? Yes. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out.
You know when you kick me out, then I'm leaving. I'm leaving with my contacts, leaving with my guidance, something that you clearly need. So you sure you want to kick me out? No, you wasn't even invited here. Okay, I don't need you here. I don't want you here. Get the just get the fuck out, man. Just get the, get the fuck out. Say it again. Say it again. Get the fuck out. You ungrateful son of a bitch. I've tried nothing but my best to help you in life. I've been a good ass friend. But you know what? I'm gonna get a head start on this right here because you gonna need it. You keep scrubbing the stoves and don't you ever call me. I've been a real friend of nothing but. Take this fucking charity case. I won't be calling, don't worry. I'm gonna cook it all fucking day. <clears throat> mm. Mm -mm. This nigga knew it was our anniversary. Ugh. Where the fuck is he at? Fuck this guy. Is there a problem? Still five miles. Oh, you know what? Step out of the car. All I ask is you to fucking be there. Just be fucking there. Turning out to a deadly police shooting in Ohio, a Columbus police officer has been relieved of his duties with pay after shooting an unarmed black man. The victim's family is demanding justice this morning. NBC's Blaine Alexander has the latest on that, and we warn you that the video of the shooting is disturbing. No justice, no peace. 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 Sometimes they don't play fair, but what can I say? Boys will be boys. You don't feel in the head, some kind of way.